Hi, so this is my video on my so-called bug out backpack and uh, I'm going to prove to you that there's no such thing as a uh, bug out backpack whatsoever. Um, I'm going to, first of all, uh, let me just show you my uh, main backpack. Uh, it, excuse me, I'm in a uh, one person tent. So things are a little bit squished, and uh, this is my uh, my main backpack. And uh, with that one, I uh, carried everything I needed. Um, this is uh, my uh, bug out backpack. And uh, as you can see, it's not as big as the other one. Uh, let me just go through some of the uh, items uh, I carry in my main backpack and uh, what I thought would be good for a bug out backpack. Leatherman, flashlights, a magnetic compass, most importantly, toothpaste and a brush uh, that was in my oh uh, cordage that was in my uh, immediate uh, bug out pack you know my main section uh, well, well my go to section uh, when it comes to tools uh, tomahawk air pistol with this I can carry a lot of ammo and it's a 22, it carries a fairly hef hefty punch uh, for, for such a little gun. And uh, yeah, my weighs next to nothing. Uh, yeah, my uh, machete, uh, knife, two, I've got two knives actually, three knives, one strapped to my bug out pack. Uh, and I got uh, gloves and a uh, belt just for carrying all of this stuff. Uh, and I just realised I've lost a uh, knife. Uh, my Gerber. Where, where's my... Oh, there's my Gerber. This is my Gerber, which uh, I also carry. Um, now you're probably wondering why I carry so much, that's because I'm a homeless guy and this is what I take into account, what everyone doesn't do. Stealing. That's right. Uh, I have to take into account stealing uh, because I have no way of locking stuff up properly. Um, and if you're in a survival situation, you're going to be carrying probably just as much as I do. Probably in a little bit more because I imagine you've got more shit than I have. Um, and this is the problem. I mean, this is my uh, bug out backpack, and as this computer's a camera, it's not very big. It's well made. I mean, it's a good backpack, don't get me wrong. You know, um, uh, medical supplies, I'm sure my medical supplies and uh, for obvious reasons I'm not going to get out of my medical supplies because I don't want them to get dirty. In fact I'm zip that back up. Um, and here's the problem with bug out backpacks. You end up, because of people stealing, uh, you end up carrying more and more and more, and you end up uh, having to basically go back to your main backpack and use that as a bug out backpack. If, uh, because the amount of stuff you're forced to carry, and I know that because I'm homeless and I survive out in the desert with what the desert has to offer me. And so I do it every single day. That's what I do. That's what I do to survive. And uh, so for you people out there who think, oh, well, uh, I'm 
can stop this bug out pepper and keep it ultra light. Well, that's fair enough. That, that's that, that's great. But it ain't gonna get you very far. Not when you start getting cold and wet, or the heat of the day. It just it's just too much for you to wear your uh, cold weather um, clothes, or the other way around, or when it starts to rain. So you just end up carrying more and more and more and uh, you know to protect yourself stop stealing you know uh, you know as a you know you, you could, say, could say well I could just uh, you could just bury stuff in the desert and uh, you know well that's all very well but in my situation I can only stay in a place for so long before uh, I, I start exhausting the resources around me so I have to move on and and keep moving and so tell me where I should uh, bury my shit tell me what tell me where I should bury my stuff so that's it that that is my thoughts on uh, bug out backpacks uh, I think they're a ludicrous thing now um, and uh, people shouldn't try to make them too small try and keep them light you may have to sacrifice quite a bit of your stuff to keep it light uh, but do bug out pack packs really exist in the real world in a real survival situation the answer is no absolutely no and uh, you're talking to someone, you listen to someone who does it day in and day out and day in and day out in the real world, not on the weekends. And, uh, you know, nobody gives me stuff to test out or whatever. Anyway, that's enough from me. Bye.